am I the only person that's tired of working? Like, girl, this... <laughs> I, I gave it 20 years. That's more than enough time to figure out if you if you like the work or not. But girl, you don't like those bills. Anyway, y'all, this is a different video for a change. Um, it is an updated hair regimen video to let you guys know what has changed when it comes to me taking care of my hair. Um, if I've noticed any differences now that we have secured ourselves in Dallas, Texas, the DFW area. So you guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel. My name is Vivian, AKA Annette Mint. I have been natural now for 12 years. No, girl, no, <laughs> 13. This is my 13th year now. Let's get into what I've been doing with my hair and what products I've switched up because I have changed my regimen quite a bit, actually. So we're gonna start with the beginning, washing. I now wash my hair once a month. Um, it was last year weekly. I'm finding that I really don't like to do my hair that much. It was bad before, but now it's probably even worse. And so well, speaking of my hair, let's go ahead and take it down. Um, so there's a reason for the monthly washes, which we will get into styling in a bit. So as far as, um, what I'm using to wash my hair, I do clarify my hair um how often vivian well since it's only monthly i probably clarify qu um, quarterly which is three to four months um and that's primarily due to the fact that i don't use a lot of products in my hair you guys now i need some new products <laughs> that we we ain't gonna deny that i definitely need some new products. i mean okay there's a difference between needs and months i know that so i want some new products and so we're gonna go ahead and get some new ones all here soon. You guys, I'm gonna comb my hair out some. Look at that length, girl. I still think my hair should be longer than this, but I've had a couple of mishaps we'll talk about later on in styling and, and all that. So again, I do apologize, y'all. I'm all over the place. Cleansing my hair, clarifying once every three to four months. Um, cleansing my scalp every month. What do you use, Vivian? Suave? Tresemme? Now there are very particular shampoos that I use from those lines um but in addition to that I typically use two shampoos you guys when I'm um, washing my scalp I use like a swab or something and then I follow up with like a TGIN their moisture shampoo Eden Bodies work yeah Eden Bodies work and so forth so that's when it comes to actually using a shampoo and let me say this I am not afraid of sulfates so I'm not if I'm looking for something new for my hair, which I'm not at this point, I'm not gonna be looking for a sulfate free because I'm not afraid of sulfates, okay? Now, as far as conditioning, I am completely removing the rinse out basic conditioners like this, this is an example. Instead, this is my deep conditioner. Um, I just find it redundant. I mean, unless my hair is really tangled, or I had a wash and go. I may use a rinse out and then follow up with a deep conditioner. Or let's say I'm, no, no, there's no other options. <laughs> I'm bypassing the rinse out. I'm saving money, I'm saving time. Doesn't make any sense at this point for me personally. Um, as far as deep conditioners, I have my go-tos. Any type of cholesterol, uh, specifically um, one by Hollywood Beauty or Luttrell, is it like hair? Y'all, I'm going to lose my mind. Let your silk. I'm going to put everything below in the cards, girl. But definitely, definitely Hollywood Beauty cholesterols. I typically like to add the ORS Olive Oil, the ORS Olive Oil Strength and Nourish Replenishing Conditioner. I'm going to let y'all know something. And I know a lot of y'all are aware of this. These people have been changing their formulas. You, you peeped that? I peeped this a couple of years ago. They changed it. Nothing wrong with it. I still use it, but they changed it. Now, that's conditioners. Leave-ins. Um, I use the leave-in spray. I use the Afogee two-step reconstructor. I forgot to bring it here as an example. I use that as needed. As far as leave-in conditioners, I switched to, because I don't have to use a lot, the Hollywood Beauty Olive Oil Shine Moisturizer. I do have an official review on this product. Sometimes I go back and I use a lot of body um, style milk. Great, great product that is very affordable. You can find it on Amazon, Walmart, whatever. I also like to use Giovanni leave-in. Um, I also use, still use Cantu. Even though I feel like, look, you can't tell me nothing. I feel like they seriously are changing up those ingredients like every year. 
or maybe it's every two years. I feel like they switched it up a lot, too much, but it is what it is. I still use it. I'm just saying, stop it. So anyway, y'all, this Giovanni leave-in and Cantu, there's another lot of body. And that's it. I try to stick with the same. Now, as far as styling products, that depends on how I'm styling my hair. So you see my hair <clears throat> is in a blown out state and we'll comb it for you. I'll, and I'll comb it for y'all. It's a little tangle. This is what the back is looking like. Okay. So this is just a blowout and I've gotten shrinkage because it's typically, yeah, it's past my armpits in the front. Yeah, styling, I am stretching my hair We're using heat. What I will say is that if I feel like my hair is lacking something, I will adjust my regimen as needed. So let's say I'm feeling like my hair is a little weak, brittle. I may do a protein treatment or something like that. Um, or if I feel like my hair has too much moisture, I may scale back on the type of product or, or if I'm using too many water-based products. Now, I have definitely noticed a difference with my hair from moving here to uh, Dallas from Phoenix. Phoenix is extremely dry, you guys. I could wear a twist out in the summertime and not need to do anything to it for a good, until I'm more ready to wash it. The definition would be on point because there's no moisture in the air. With that being said, I have to be careful with some of the ingredients I had to at the time with the products because it's so dry. So I try to look for different products that can help with the frizziness and help with um, making sure that my definition is still there. If I'm blowing up my hair, I'm using the Garnier Fruity Slick and Shine, just a little bit of this hair serum. When I mean just a little bit, for all this hair, I will use a dime. Cause your hair is our, look, the cuticles are nearly flat for me. So it doesn't make any sense for me to use a bunch of product for my hair, even with all this hair. Maybe I use 15 cents. Okay, 15 cents on all this hair. That's it. Um, I'm also, when I was in Houston, girl, <laughs> hmm. honestly, if I lived in Houston with this amount of hair, I would probably just wear wash and goes all the time. Cause typically you guys, I wear my hair, it's down now for the video, but I typically <clears throat> wear my hair like this or if I'm going somewhere or I will twist this up like that. And then I'm going to bring this up like this. Okay. And then I may do the same thing over here. Let's see. I need another hand, shit. And so I may bring this up like this, girl, and then maybe just pin it up. I don't want my hair down. So that way I'm protecting my ends and protecting my hair, but you know, whatever. For the sake of this video is down. My whole point is that my hair is down like this because I was going somewhere. Even though I've blown out my hair um, and it's available, even though my hair can be worn down, the reason why I can wear it for another four to six weeks is because I'm quote unquote protecting it, if that makes sense. What else, what else? Trimming my hair, I you can tell. I've trimmed my hair. Now, um, I need another trim. I do, look at that. Um, living, uh, moisturizing my hair. Um, I try to moisturize my hair when it's in, for example, I typically wear it in twists. I moisturize two to three times a week. That is it, I do not use a lot of products, okay? I don't do hot oil treatments. I don't do any special scalp treatments. I don't do any of that stuff. I don't sleep on a, a silk, actually, yeah, I do. I do sleep on a silk pillowcase, but it's under my other pillow. That's just dumb as hell, I know. <laughs> I do wear a bonnet. So, y'all, yeah, that is it. I know I'm going way over. That is basically what I'm doing for my hair. I am going to scale back on the blowing out the hair and doing that on a monthly basis, because honestly, I was only using heat previously, probably three to four times a year. And not to say it's not something my hair could absolutely handle it, yes. 
but just because my hair can handle it doesn't mean I should be doing it. Does that make sense? I'm gonna go back to wearing my hair in twists and wearing the cute twist styles. I'm thinking about doing my, what do I call them? Um, loose two strand twists, they're not mine. Loose two strand twists um, for the summertime. I'm gonna do those on stretched hair, not necessarily blown out, but something that stretch. Okay, so that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know, have you changed your hair regimen at all um, in the course of your natural hair journey or do you try to stick to the same thing? So that is it, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you as always to all of my new subscribers. Take care, bye.